This morning we are tracking that spring snowstorm. This morning it's in the Dakotas and headed our way, Kelly. Yeah, we are talking about a winter weather advisory in effect for late tonight after midnight right through tomorrow at 1 o'clock. We'll track that snow for you coming up. Plus an update on a deadly crash. What court records are showing about the case. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning here on a Thursday morning, a busy Thursday. I'm That's Chris right. Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. Yeah, we've got a lot to get to, especially in the world of weather. We've been tracking that snowstorm uh, throughout the week. Kelly's been giving us constant updates on it, and now we know uh, where it's coming from and headed our way tomorrow morning. Yeah, those snow snowfall totals are updated, and we have a live look at this this morning. This is uh, Bismarck, North Dakota. Some snow on the ground there. This is part of that system that is headed our way, moving through the Dakotas, uh, parts of Minnesota this morning. Uh, and this is this is uh, what we have been telling you about right. at home for several days now. Yeah, and there's still a lot of time for some things to change, but right now it looks like we could be getting three to six inches of snow across our area, which will t make tomorrow's commute a little bit difficult. Of course, we will keep an eye on that all morning long, and our Kelly Slifk is here to give us even more updates. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, as I look at that camera over there in Bismarck, that's what it's going to look like here tomorrow morning. So that's what we can expect uh, tomorrow morning. Maybe a couple of inches of snow on the uh, ground by this time. So that'll be impacting the morning commute. We do have winter weather advisors in effect after midnight through 1 o'clock tomorrow. I think most of the snow will be we're really starting to come down at about this time tomorrow morning. So that'll be obviously impacting the uh, travel conditions. And we can expect several inches by tomorrow morning. That should be uh, lighting up by tomorrow afternoon. We've got a break in the weather by tomorrow afternoon into Saturday. But then on Sunday, we have another system that will bring us some rain and snow. I think the second system on Sunday will be mainly a rain event. But that's what we got. We've got kind of active weather headed into this uh, first weekend of spring. Uh, a lot of this that you're seeing on our Doppler track right now is not reaching the ground here in Iowa and Illinois. It's uh, falling aloft and then evaporating. But eventually, it'll get moist enough uh, that we will see this starting to reach the uh, ground. You saw that. Uh, camera over there in Bismarck and they're seeing that snow continuing to fly. That's moving into western Minnesota. That will be reaching us after midnight tonight. So we've got quite a few uh, hours yet to prepare for that snow. 22 right now in Madison, 24 in Middleton, 23 in Sauk City. So it is a chilly start to the morning. We don't have as much wind as we've had. So the wind chill value is not as much of a factor. Just a lot of clouds around today. Temperatures in the uh, 20s this morning rising through the uh, 30s. Should be in the mid to upper 30s, maybe even low 40s as you get closer toward the Illinois border. As we get closer to midnight, some of this snow starting to spread into the Madison area, and then a pretty solid area of snow overnight tonight through tomorrow morning, impacting the roads tomorrow morning and also reducing the visibilities. Most of this moving out toward the noon hour, at least moving into our eastern counties and maybe just a few flurries in the afternoon, but the accumulating snow will be done with during the morning. 22 right now in Madison. We've got clouds out there right now, 32 by the noon hour. More on that snow potential tomorrow and also that second system coming our way later this weekend coming up. We got another system after this one tomorrow. Active weather, you got it. Okay, a lot to get to. We'll get to you uh, in just a bit, Kelly. Thank you. First, we're going to tell you what you can expect tomorrow when it comes to plowing. Yeah, here's how this process works. Once three or more inches of snow hits the ground and the storm is almost over, the plows will go out. The main roads that will impact your morning commute will get the most attention tomorrow. That's, you know, the most heavily driven roads like the Beltline and other major thoroughfares. Now, the first round of plowing also includes public service and emergency routes as well. And when the snow hits, you'll want to stay informed. So be the first to know by downloading our free first morn weather app. Just search for WISC weather in your app store. We have an update this morning in the deadly crash that left a cyclist dead. Online court records show a man being booked into the Dane County Jail just before 6 p.m. yesterday evening who's facing charges of hit and run involving death. He has not been officially charged yet, though. Thus, we are not naming him. On Tuesday, 35-year-old Joseph Solomon was identified as the man killed in that Friday crash. He collided with a car near the intersection of Lean Road and Parkside Drive. A 22-year-old woman is dead after two vehicles crashed into each other yesterday morning. The incident happened in the town of Elba. The initial investigation finds the woman's vehicle heading westbound on State Highway 1660 when it crossed the center line and collided head-on with another vehicle. The woman was pronounced dead at the scene. The other driver, a six-year-old man, was taken to the hospital for non-life-threatening injuries. DCI agent Mark Wagner's trial will continue this morning. Yesterday, prosecutors presented the first evidence in the trial. Jurors examined the tactical gear worn by officers. 
Multiple law enforcement officers also took the stand, looking at several pictures and evidence, including the tactical shield used by Wagner during the shooting. Prosecutors also questioned whether Wagner could see into Quadron Wilson's vehicle because of the tint used on the vehicle. Wagner is charged with recklessly endangering safety for shooting Quadron Wilson while working as a DCI agent on February 3rd, 2022. The UW-Madison Police Department is looking to speed up their emergency notification system and it all take and all it takes is the push of a button. The current system called Whisk Alerts requires someone to log in, craft a message and then press send. But the new program will act as a kind of big red button that can send out an alert at a moment's notice. The message sent out would be a generic one telling people to assess your situation. When asked about why the message was so generic, a UWPD official said this. The reality is a lot of times in these very um, quickly evolving situations, we may not necessarily be able to say that it is going to be one location. Sometimes these attackers move locations rather quickly. UWPD says that situations where this button would be used are dangerous enough that seconds matter, so getting a generic message out is more important than precise information. The department plans to test out that new system next week while students are on spring break. In more local news, a Madison musician is trying to bounce back after a burglary. He was in Minneapolis for a show Saturday when someone broke into his car and stole five to ten thousand dollars in equipment. You may know Aaron Conkle or his band, Natty Nation. He says he was asleep at his hotel when his car was broken into. After hearing the news, though, others are now stepping up and helping out, donating money to help Conkle replace what was stolen. Yeah, I mean, it is like the most humbling thing I've ever experienced, honestly. Like, I would have never expected that out of people, um, and especially that amount. You know, it's like, whoa, you know, like just it's it's just humbling. That's the main. Yeah, Conkle didn't expect $9,000 in donations. If you'd like to help support Aaron Conkle and his band, Natty Nation, you can find a link on our website. The Wisconsin Beef Council is asking for help as they try to support the Feeding Wisconsin organization. The fundraiser started yesterday and will end April 2nd. With the help of a local clothing company, the Beef Council is selling gray and black t-shirts, long sleeve tees, and sweatshirts. The Wisconsin Beef Council has donated over $7,000 to Feeding Wisconsin over the years. It's really important for us that people have beef on the tables because we understand that this is a nutrient powerhouse. And so that's why we decided to launch this fundraiser with all proceeds going back to Feeding Wisconsin so that we can keep beef on those family tables. The shirts are available until April 2nd and can be purchased online. All right, we are taking a look at the radar right now as the storm continues to make its way across the Dakotas. And what can you tell us about this one, Kelly? Yeah, you know, you see some of that snow that's uh, flying or looks like it's flying on our Doppler track over parts of Minnesota and Iowa. That's not reaching the ground yet, but we have seen that snow flying up there in the Dakotas that will eventually reach us. Probably not until the uh, midnight hour tonight. And by this time tomorrow morning, we are talking about quite a bit of snow. Yeah. Uh, accumulating. So it's going to be a, an impactful snow for us, uh, especially by this time tomorrow morning. So it doesn't look like that much on the radar right now. So what's going to happen between now and then tomorrow morning when this stuff's really going to start to accumulate? Yeah, so the storm is still starting to develop over the Rockies. And once that starts to uh, wind up here and grab some moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, that's when that snow will start to pick up. And right now it has its eyes set on southern Wisconsin. Yeah, it's going to be coming right during the morning commute tomorrow. So be sure to tune in and we will give you all the updates that you need. All right, what's coming up in your full forecast, Kelly? Yeah, we're talking about that uh, snowmaker that'll be arriving later tonight through tomorrow morning. It's not only that one, we've got another one that'll be arriving later in the weekend. More on that coming up. Hey, we're also looking ahead to a big day for the Badgers tomorrow. Uh, the men's basketball team is headed to New York for the NCAA tournament. Women's hockey playing in the Frozen Four. Ahead, how News 3 Now is covering the big games. And a follow up to our newsery now spirit of service this morning. See how the veteran voted as this year's winner is now being honored in the 608. News three now this morning brought to you by Toyota. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. 
Right now, you can get 3.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Camry, RAV4, or Tundra Hybrid. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of innovative Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us. With expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing at your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. The High V Snack Sale this Friday through Sunday. Get Pringles just a dollar forty-eight, Doritos just three forty-eight, Cheese It Snack Crackers just a dollar ninety-nine, and Little Debbie Snacks also just a dollar ninety-nine. Plus, get these other great snack time deals. Don't miss the snack sale all weekend long this Friday through Sunday only at High V. Come on, Michael! Come on! Catch the ball! Huddle up! Do you need to get your eyes checked? Well, actually... Here's the play. Stanton Optical makes glasses in 30 minutes. It's easy on three. One, two, three. Easy! easy. Hut. Hut! Come on, Michael, you got this! Come on, come on, turn! Michael, catch! I can see! You did it! I did it! 30 minute glasses? Now that's an easy play. Stanton Optical. Easy's our thing. We really need new siding. After I get my windows. Have you tried opening ours? We're not touching the windows until we redo the roof. It's leaking. We are not redoing the roof without getting new gutters. The gutters can wait till I get my bathtub. We agreed on a shower for a mom. But I thought... Uh -huh. Happy spouse, happy house. Exactly. Wait. For home improvement guaranteed to make everyone happy, everyone can agree on 1-800-HANSEN's because our durable, energy-efficient, and weather-resistant windows, roofing, siding, and gutters are all guaranteed for life. And our baths have a no-leak guarantee. With thousands of five-star reviews, we're your trusted home improvement expert, exceeding expectations for 35 years. Get 60% off professional installation or no interest and no payments for two full years. Offer ends soon. It's under. Over. Hey, happy spouse, happy house. Call 1-800-HANSONS, get it done. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning, moving forward. Uh, Eric Franke is still very much alive, as far as we know. As far as we know, Eric's fine. Uh, that kind of looked like a in memory, in memoriam uh, thing there. But, hey, uh, we are in the 608 this morning with the follow-up of our Spirit of Service winner. <laughs> Josh Breider is here with our local veteran, is now being honored. A follow-up to our, our big campaign here, Josh. Excited to hear about it. Oh, you guys, this is such an amazing honor here. Last week, we were so excited to name Rob Drugsvold as this year's winner of the Spirit of Service Award. But that recognition didn't stop there. Take a look at this. Our partners in the Spirit of Service campaign, Vortex Optics, hosted Drugsvold along with his nominator for lunch yesterday. The whole Bartoville campus was there to not only thank Rob for his service, but also for what he continues to do in the community. We awarded $5,000 to the veteran last week on News 3 Now this morning as he continues his mission of giving back to the community. We'll continue following Rob on his journey as his goal is to keep growing the Stoughton VFW and opening it up to the younger generations to get involved. I love that recognition. So let's take a look back at just how much of an impact the Spirit of Service made in the 608 this year. In less than two months, 100 nominations were submitted for local veterans doing something good in our communities. Vortex narrowed those nominations down to five. Then you, the viewer, submitted close to 2,000 votes in just two weeks. Rob Drugsvold walked away officially the winner, but each and every one of those people nominated are winners in our books. Sure. These are the people making a positive difference in our community, and that, folks, is inspiring. We're already looking forward to next year. I know it was just a super special day for them yesterday that's to be down so, in Barnabas. I so mean, cool to that's have all those people there. Yes, that's what it's all about, right? And I think we can't thank our veterans enough, especially in our community, because they're doing amazing things each and every day right in our backyard.
Yeah, goosebumps. It yeah. does, isn't it? Watching like, that video. Yeah, oh, that's great. The it's wonderful. applause and all that stuff, everything uh, very well deserved. The nice recognition's follow just yeah. nice follow wonderful, yeah. All right, Josh Breider, thanks Josh, very much. You bet. Josh is always looking for inspiration to share with you folks at home. If you have an idea, something you want to see on the air, find him on social media or email him for a chance to be featured. All right, it's a quarter after six. Kelly Slifk is here on the patio. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, it's a uh, chilly uh, start to our morning, but you know, at least it's not white out here yet this morning. I think by this time tomorrow morning, it will be quite white. We do have a first warrant alert day because of the snow, accumulating snow. We're looking at fairly widespread three to six inches of snow. Now, this could be a very sl sloppy, slushy snow. Uh, this time of the year, the uh, sun angle is so high that it will be melting a lot of the snow. Even though we're not really expecting sun tomorrow, uh, it's going to be that sloppy, wet snow. Uh, right now, the uh, snow is flying across the uh, Dakotas. You see some of that snow trying to spread into western Wisconsin. A lot of that's not reaching the ground. The storm system really hasn't developed yet. Still trying to get organized off to the west in the Rockies, but that's what's going to be diving right into southern Wisconsin and bringing us that snow. And it could come down fairly moderately. Noticing that uh, tomorrow morning, uh, that's when I think the uh, snow will come down at a fairly good clip, could be reducing the visibilities down to about a mile, maybe even a little bit lower, at least for a time, but it should move through fairly quickly, I think, by out of here by the uh, noon hour. And then we got a dry day on Saturday, but another system comes in, brings us a, a little bit of snow. It looks like Sunday, and then eventually it'll be warm enough, as this storm system will be passing to our west, that it will change over to all rain, and we could be talking about some heavy rain. We need the moisture, and it looks like we've got uh, plenty of that coming our way over the next uh, several days going into uh, early next week. All right, uh, snowfall potential from this first system are looking at three to six inches, pretty widespread across southern Wisconsin. It looks like the heavier band is going to be right across southern areas of the state. And as far as driving tomorrow morning, that will be, let's call it moderate. The snows uh, coming down will be melting on contact, so I don't expect major problems with this, but moderate problems, the visibilities will be down. Uh, we should see that starting to clear out by the noon hour. And I think the uh, snow will be picking up after midnight tonight through the overnight period, pretty steady snows uh, by this time tomorrow morning. Should start to taper off later in the morning and be just about done with by the noon hour. In the meantime, just a cloudy sky today, chilly. Temperatures only in the 30s uh, this afternoon, maybe getting closer to 40 toward the Illinois border. Uh, a lot of clouds around. At least we don't have as much wind as what we saw yesterday. Then as we get toward midnight, we start to see that snow spreading into southern Wisconsin and pretty steady snows through the overnight period. This time tomorrow morning, uh, moderate snow at times, reducing visibilities down to about a mile or so, at least for a time tomorrow morning. That'll uh, cause some impacts on the roads, so just allow some extra time tomorrow morning. Should be moving out during the uh, noon hour. Maybe still a few snow flurries, but the accumulating snow done uh, with that uh, at that point. Noticing temperatures well above freezing, so a lot of this melting on contact. 22 right now in Madison. Also the Dells, 27 in Janesville. Watertown at 21 across Dane County. We're in the 20s, 26 in Sun Prairie. Also Wanakee, Middleton, 24, Verona currently at 26. So we've got the uh, cool weather continuing as we head into the first weekend of Spring temperatures only in the 30s. We got the uh, first warm alert day for the snow tomorrow. Another one comes in Monday, and that's mainly for some heavy rain and also some windy conditions definitely impacting our Monday. Temperatures feel a little bit more like spring next week as we uh, rise not only in, uh, out of the 40s, but into the low to mid 50s toward the end of next week. Yeah, Kelly, it uh, doesn't look like things are going to really be shaping up to anything special coming up in the next couple of weeks here, huh? Well, it looks, you know, next week, I actually, you know, these temperatures back in the mid-50s, that'll be running above average. So okay. we just have to get through this weekend, this bout uh, over the next several days. Uh, have to deal with some winter-like weather, but after that, it looks better. All right, looking forward to that. Thanks, Kelly. Well, tomorrow will surely be a roller coaster of emotions for Badger Nation. The men's basketball team taking on James Madison in the round of 64 in the NCAA tournament. Also got Badger women's hockey looking to punch their ticket to the championship to repeat. News 3 Now is bringing you live coverage of every angle. Starting today, we have a team in Brooklyn right now getting ready to start their day. Our Armand Rahman and sports director Zach Hanley will stay in the city to cover the men's basketball game while our Andrew Banstra is headed up to New Hampshire to bring us coverage of the Frozen Four. That coverage will start today on Live at Four. That's awesome. We've got everything covered that you need for all your Badger sports needs. Now, if you want to get in on the News 3 Now Bracket Challenge, you got to do so this morning. You got to get your picks in by 11 o'clock. First game tips off at 11.15. Again, you have a chance to compete here 
for a $500 gift card. All entries, again, must be submitted by 11 today. To find a link where you can submit your bracket, just search for this story up on channel3000.com. Because of March Madness, we're uh, shuffling some programming around today. News 3 Now at noon is going to be uh, not on air today and Friday because of basketball. Uh, News 3 Now at 6 will air at 5.30 instead of the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. Finally, News 3 Now at 10 will air after the final game wraps up on uh, CBS. And speaking of March Madness, there are plenty of highlights from the last decade for the Badgers in the NCAA tournament. But eight years ago, one of the most clutch shots oh, in yeah. tourney history, nothing but net for Wisconsin on this day. 2016, Bronson Koenig hit a corner three to send Wisconsin dancing into the Sweet 16 over number two seed Xavier. Remember that? Oh, yeah. That was an uh, <laughs> edge of our seat Man, moment. Koenig had some big moments for the Badgers in his run Boy. there. Yeah. Gosh. Uh, it's the best so, time of year. So the Badger Miss Basketball has uh, James Madison today. Mm -hmm. uh, Friday. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, tomorrow night. Uh, and then if they win that game, they're going to play the winner of the Duke game. Most likely Duke will win that one. We can see that. that Duke, how are you feeling about that Duke-Wisconsin uh, Duke matchup if that happens in round 32? I, you know, I think two really good programs that have had a lot of success in the Who do you have on your bracket, Shane? Uh, uh, I think the Blue Devils <laughs> yeah. have, a, have a little more talent. Honesty. He's yeah. a man of honesty yeah, and integrity. Right. All right. Well, we will keep you updated, all things Badgers, throughout the next couple of days. And still ahead this morning, a popular cooking competition show is back, and it's all about Wisconsin, what to expect, and how to watch coming up. In our next half hour, a two-state solution. Why Wisconsin Republicans are criticizing Tammy Baldwin over a letter. Eric Franke, News 3 Now at 5, 6, and 10, moving forward. Interested in an electric vehicle? Bergstrom has the largest selection of electric vehicles and a team you can trust. Buy with confidence and complete peace of mind from Wisconsin's number one automotive retailer. Bergstrom Automotive, driven to deliver gas, hybrid, or electric. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. The first time I tried it, I was so surprised. My husband was so excited that he wanted to run out and get it. He said, what have you been trying? I said, well, I've tried this product called Power Swab. And he said, I can't believe how white your teeth are. From that point on, I've been sold. If you have yellowing between your teeth, if you have coffee or tea stains near your gum line, just snap, swab and smile and in each five minute application you'll see whiter teeth so stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays and start using the power swabs five minute solution my absolute favorite thing was how easy it was it takes literally less than five minutes i like my smile i like my smile after finishing the power swabs this is a power swab smile this is a power swab smile this is a power swab smile Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. Order Power Swabs and receive up to 50% off the retail price. And as an added bonus, get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 50% off and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen or visit powerswabs.com today. Get an 11% rebate on everything now at Menards. Prepare your yard for spring with nature's finest easy green grass seed. It's fast growing and right now a five pound bag is just $6.99 after rebate. Get the last roof you'll ever need with Menards Steel Roofing. It's durable, offers superior wind and hail resistance, and is available in cut tier length panels. Get an 11% rebate on all steel roofing right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. 
When you download the Pick and Save app, enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. You can always discover more ways to save big every day. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. We're back at 624. What's trending today, Shane? All right, well, one of the most popular cooking competitions is back on the air, and this season is all about Wisconsin. Yeah. Top Chef season 21 premiered last night on Bravo, and it was filmed in Madison yeah. and in Milwaukee over last summer. Now, there was a watch party at Union yeah. South last night where Madisonians gathered to see how all of Wisconsin's traditions and hop culinary it. staples. Really, really hop in there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hey, I mean, this is going to be really cool for people in Wisconsin to see, yes. you know, the culinary staples, the traditions, some great restaurants will all be featured on this season. I don't know how familiar you are <laughs> with Top Chef, but they really dive in deep to the, you know, where the location is that they're filming. So you're yeah. going to see a lot of course, about the dairy industry, cheese, fish fries, supper clubs, all of the Wisconsin staples. I'm sure you'll see an old fashioned uh, cocktail off uh, if, in this season. If they don't include something about old fashioned. I'm sure they will. And you know, they, they highlight it. local restaurants and local restaurant tours and I'm really excited to see it. Of course, I've lived in both Milwaukee and Madison. That's I can right, appreciate yeah. both of the culinary scenes, great culinary scenes, so can't wait to watch. Yeah, um, last night's episode, uh, they were driving in the third ward mm -hmm. of Milwaukee. Which uh, is one of my favorite places in the world. You were telling me they always go to Whole Foods. They were at the Whole Foods mm -hmm. in, in Milwaukee, and uh, they went to the Fister Hotel and uh, did a, a bit there, yeah. and they're filming at local restaurants. Really can't wait to see what they've got for Madison. Yeah, so we'll have looking to keep watching to that. We'll keep you posted. All right, Kelly, quick weather. Yeah, a little chilly uh, today with temperatures in the 30s. We're tracking that snow. We'll have more in the first morning forecast coming up. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. My name is Jack Frank. I'm a retired paper mill worker in the valley here, and I work for Copas and Bus part-time on the side. I've had my own route now here for the last three, four years, and the kids on it are great. Flexible hours, they work with you in many different ways. If you've got something going, they, they, they accommodate you or they try to get somebody to run your road. Copas and Street, you decent. You know, all the years I worked here, it's a great place to work. Looks like they finally got rid of that trip hazard. They pump it full of mud? It ain't mud, Jack. Where are the patched holes? Where's the splashed mud? It ain't mud, Jack. Concrete lifting technologies can quickly raise and level any concrete surface using cutting edge foam technology made in Wisconsin. Fast and accurate and eco-friendly. How did those guys do it? Where are the holes? Where's the mud? It ain't mud, Jack. Dot com. This right here is confidence in a bottle. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real and I'm so excited. We even have a video and all he uses is a small amount on a clean dry face and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes and I did this to my father. We were at home, so we applied it to his under eye bags, and let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view, and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Why choose between that new deck you've been wanting and that vacation you've been dreaming about? Get both. A deck that outlasts wood three to one and up to a seven day vacation on one of the top cruise lines or at one of our hundreds of resorts with no blackout date restrictions. Call now or visit the website for your new deck today. Shop family owned Brothers Main for our large selection, low price deals and free delivery on top brands like Cafe, Hot Point and GE Appliances. From sales to install, we do it all. Feel great about your purchases. Feel like family. Brothers Maine. 
It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best in class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. During Chevy truck season, get 0.9% financing on all 2023 and 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. Or qualified lessees can get this Silverado for $4.99 a month. Today we are focused on the spring snowstorm set to impact Wisconsin and taking a look at the plowing situation. Yeah, that colder air already starting to settle in this morning. Kelly is tracking how that storm is coming together. We do have a winter weather advisory in effect uh, starting after midnight tonight right through 1 o'clock tomorrow. We'll track that snow for you coming up. Plus, the controversial new plan for a two-state solution in the Middle East. And the Wisconsin lawmaker, who's on board? Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning on your Thursday. I'm Shane Hogan. I'm Chris Stanford. Hope you haven't put the boots away yet. <laughs> and if you got the kiddos, the snow pants. You know, for a while there, you know, you send your kids to school in the snow pants sure. like, for four months out of the year. But four months? Just, yeah, it's what wow. it feels like. It might be real. Yeah. Uh, well, so we do have uh, several inches of snow in the forecast. Yeah, and it's expected to hit us this time tomorrow morning. We'll have all of your updates for you. Kelly Slifka has been on top of this all week long. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, it is uh, going to be impacting us, especially about this time tomorrow morning during the rush hour. Tomorrow morning, that's when the snow will be coming down the heaviest, if you will, uh, reducing visibilities and obviously impacting those roads. It's going to be a sloppy, slushy snow, but we do have winter weather advisories in effect starting after midnight, one o'clock in the morning, officially up until one o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So plenty of opportunity to uh, be prepared for this uh, snowmaker coming our way. We do have a first morning alert day, three to six inches. That'll be arriving late tonight, right through mainly tomorrow morning. Uh, you see in our weather track, some of the snow that's off to our west. A lot of this is not reaching the ground here in Iowa and Illinois, but it is up there in the Dakotas and parts of Minnesota. Eventually that whole system is coming our way and that's what's going to be bringing us the snow later tonight. 22 at Madison, just a chilly start to the morning. Monona at 22, Marshall currently at 21, so a chilly start to the morning. We don't have as much wind as we've had over the last couple of days, but uh, still chilly. Uh, cloudy skies throughout the day today. Temperatures in the 30s, only in the mid to upper 30s, maybe getting closer to 40 toward the uh, Illinois border. It won't be until the midnight hour or so. We'll start to see some of the snow spreading in from the west. And then a pretty solid area of rain, pretty steady snows expected overnight tonight through tomorrow morning. That will include the rush hour tomorrow morning before it starts to taper off as we get toward the uh, noon hour and just a few flurries. But noticing temperatures are above freezing. Well into the 30s. Temperatures today in the 30s as well. This afternoon should be quiet, but we're tracking that snow tomorrow. Not only that storm system, another one will be impacting our weekend later in the weekend into early next week. More on that one coming up. All right, Kelly, thank you. Now let's take a look at what we can all expect when it comes to plowing tomorrow. Yeah, here's how it works. Once three or more inches of snow hits the ground and the storm is almost over, that's when the plows will go out. Madison starts with its salt routes. That includes about half of the traffic lanes. It also includes those main thoroughfares like metro bus routes, roads around schools and hospitals, and police and fire stations. Now, as for neighborhoods, your side streets are not salted. Plows will get to your street at some point, though. Neighborhoods are not assigned in any particular order, and all areas should eventually get plowed. It could take up to about 16 hours, though. And as always, you can stay on top of these changing conditions, how it's going to impact your morning commute tomorrow. Just download the free First Warn Weather app. Search for WISC Weather in your app store. This morning, Senator Tammy Baldwin's facing some criticism from the state's GOP. Baldwin is part of a group of 19 Democratic senators calling on President Joe Biden to establish a two-state solution amid the war between Israel and Hamas. The letter to President Biden proposes establishing a non-militarized Palestinian state a reformed Palestinian authority would lead. Senators also want that authority to recognize the state of Israel, renounce Hamas, and commit to a path of nonviolence. In exchange, Israel would have to act against settler violence in the West Bank and settlement planning there and more. Republicans are knocking Baldwin for signing that letter. A statement from the GOP spokesperson accuses Baldwin of wanting to reward Hamas for October 7th attacks with a Palestinian state. Baldwin hasn't responded to that specific statement yet, but the senator has previously denounced Hamas and expressed support for Israel after the October 7th attacks. This letter comes at a critical moment in Gaza, 
where the U.N. says more than a million people are facing catastrophic levels of hunger. Meanwhile, three out of the four major inhaler producers will cap their costs at $35 a month. That's according to Senator Tammy Baldwin's office. Two of those companies, AstraZeneca and Boringer, will cap their costs starting June 1st. With the announcement of the third company, Baldwin says the companies will no longer be able to drive up costs for Americans who need inhalers. They're doing things that uh, discourage generics from becoming available. Uh, we need more competition. That will also lot drive down the prices. And, and so we have to make sure they're not gaming their patents um, and uh, gaming their exclusivity. Now, all of this comes after senators launched an investigation into those high prices of inhalers for Americans. Baldwin says she and her colleagues will plan to continue that investigation in order to keep prices down in the long run. All right, some more local news for you now. It might not feel like it right now, but baseball season is, of course, inching closer. And the Brewers aren't the only ones training to get back in the diamond. Taking a look at this here, you can see the Greater Madison Senior Softball League. They are starting their spring training for their 14th season. 300 players from southern Wisconsin are working out at GRB Academy in Windsor. It's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Start stretching, start stretching. Did I mention start stretching? When she get older, it's hard to make friends because, you know, so it's it's a family or, or I know a friend or or whatever. So it's it's our team is like a is a family. And if you or someone you know is interested in joining, you can sign up on the league's website at greatermadisonseniorsoftball.com. Or they say, you can just show up to a preseason practice right. and walk on. They still got it, these guys. <laughs> they do. Right. They look great. Uh, some some rips down the line. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. There. Uh, the season officially starts on May 1st. All right, it's 636. Wisconsin is getting $80 million in federal funding to construct an electric vehicle charging network. Governor Tony Evers signing off on bipartisan legislation to do that earlier this week. The law makes it easier for gas stations, convenience stores, and other businesses to operate EV charging stations. That money will also support stations that allow passenger EVs to recharge in less than an hour. The governor releasing a statement reading in part, quote, we don't have to choose between protecting our environment and natural resources or creating good paying jobs and infrastructure to meet the needs of a 21st century in economy. In Wisconsin, we're doing both. In national news this morning, the Biden administration is investing eight and a half billion dollars in computer chip plants in four different states. The president touted the investment at a chip manufacturing campus in Arizona. The funds come from the Bipartisan Chips and Science Act. He signed it back in 2022. It put billions toward boosting American infrastructure. Uh, manufacturing is the big component here. Manufacturing semiconductor computer chips. The most recent announcement marks one of the biggest federal investments in U.S. chip manufacturing ever. This says the president receives the endorsement of the United Steelworker Union. The union represents 850,000 workers across America who make products with metals, rubber, chemicals, and glass. Biden says he is honored by the endorsement. It's the second time the union's backed him for president with UAW and USW under his belt. Now, Biden is seeking endorsements from the Teamsters. Former President Donald Trump is also vying for that endorsement. At the nation's capital this morning, lawmakers are running out of time to avoid a partial shutdown. Just this morning, though, they unveiled a $1.2 trillion funding package a day before that Friday deadline. The funding package has enough votes to pass with leaders on both sides of the aisle expressing support for it, but it's not clear whether it will pass before tomorrow. Current House rules require 72 hours for members to review the deal. The Senate can waive that rule if all 100 senators agree, but if just one senator objects, it dies. Because many federal workers have weekends off, a brief weekend shutdown might not be as impactful as a longer one. All right, time now to get a live look at where this snowstorm is that is headed our way. Right now, it's making its way across the Dakotas and the Great Plains. Taking a live look this morning at Bismarck in North Dakota. You can see there some snow on the ground. All right, so Kelly's been tracking this thing for, uh, it's been on your radar for uh, quite a while now, 
uh, a lot of confidence that this system is going to come together. What we're seeing in Bismarck this morning, it's not really shaping up to much. Uh, a light coating of snow on the ground. Where's the confidence coming from that this is going to develop into something significant tomorrow morning? Well, typically when these storm systems move out of the plains, there's not a lot of moisture to work with. Here in Wisconsin, we get a little bit of more, more moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. That's why I expect the snow to pick up a little bit more as it gets closer to us. Probably this time tomorrow morning, we are talking about uh, several inches of snow already on the ground, so that'll be impacting the travel tomorrow morning. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on all things commute for you, of course and uh, make sure you tune in and Kelly's got his full forecast coming up as well. Yeah, you can see that snow falling across the uh, Dakotas. That'll be reaching us, but not until after midnight. And that snow will be picking up overnight tonight. We'll have the uh, details come up in the first one forecast just ahead. Also, I had to follow up to our News Renow Spirit of Service campaign this morning. See how the veteran voted as this year's winner is now being honored in the 608. I've been with U.S. Cellular for years now, and I think I'm their biggest fan. They asked me to tell you about their special customer event, Us Days. Us Days means exclusive deals just for us customers. Us Days at U.S. Cellular. Get up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. Here's California banker Eric Hovde, running for U.S. Senate. But Hovde's lifestyle? Pure California. CEO of a billion-dollar bank, here's Hovde's over $7 million Laguna Beach mansion. And three years in a row, Eric Hovde was named one of Orange County's most influential residents. Mm. Multimillionaire California banker Eric Hovde. On Wisconsin's side, don't bank on it. When Senate is responsible for the content of this ad. Dad, are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of Four Imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out fourimprint.com. Four Imprint for certain. Getting 10% back is easy at Fleet Farm. For a limited time only, Fleet Rewards members can earn 10% back on all purchases in store and online. Spend 50 bucks, get five bucks back in rewards. No rebates, no coupons, no hassles. Plus, Fleet Rewards membership is free. So if you're not signed up yet, now's the time. Then get shopping to earn 10% back on everything you need for everyday life at Fleet Farm. Some exclusions apply. Not valid at Ankeny and Waukee, Iowa stores. Right now at U.S. Cellular, you can get a new phone without having to trade in your old one. I'll trade you my PB&J for that phone. No, kid, you don't have to trade. See? $830 off any phone at U.S. Cellular. No trade-in needed. Boom. Chocolate milk. I'll take the chocolate milk. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Campaign 2024 is heating up in Battleground, Wisconsin, and News 3 Now is bringing you complete team coverage throughout this crucial election year. From the candidates to the issues that matter to you, the voters. Campaign 2024 on News 3 Now. Moving forward. Get your bracket on with the News 3 Now Bracket Challenge. Make your tourney picks for a chance to win a $500 gift card and see how your bracket measures up against the News 3 Now sports team. Register and fill out your bracket now at channel3000.com. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Moving forward. We're back your time on this Thursday, 642. Continue our big talks about the snowstorm that's on its way, Shane. That's right. We kind of thought we were over with this part of the winter, but right as spring comes, so <laughs> does some more uh, snow headed our way. Kelly Slifka has been telling us about it all morning long. What to expect tomorrow morning. Hey, yeah, Kelly. Yeah, I keep thinking of these uh, daffodils that are uh, popping through the ground behind me. Um, unfortunately, they're going to be covered in some snow uh, by this time tomorrow morning. So, yeah, uh, plenty of time to prepare. Thankfully, uh, we have the shovel out here on the patio as well. Probably need to shovel a, a little path coming out here by tomorrow morning. But 
Uh, we are expecting some accumulating snow. First warrant alert day due to the accumulating snow. Total accumulation when all is said and done by the noon hour tomorrow should be about three to six. Now we've got plenty of time for some dry weather. Really won't be arriving until after midnight tonight. Already see the uh, snow spread across the Dakotas. Uh, parts of Minnesota, some of this is not reaching the ground that you see. You might be having your weather app and you're like, wow, that snow is right on the uh, doorstep. But a lot of that is not reaching the ground yet. But as the atmosphere moistens up a little bit, uh, especially later this evening through the overnight period, that's when the uh, snow should start to uh, move into southern Wisconsin. We're expecting widespread three to six inches. And you notice it's got a bullseye right over southern Wisconsin. As you get closer to Illinois, uh, there will be some rain mixed in. So that'll keep the amounts down a little bit down to the south. And it's going to be a slushy accumulation on those roads tomorrow because of the temperatures. You know, we've been warm over the last several weeks. So the uh, ground temperatures are still fairly warm. So a lot of this will be melting three to six inches total. Temperatures rising above uh, 32 as we go through the morning hours tomorrow. So that should help melt some of that snow as well. But you notice how it uh, beelines right across Minnesota into Wisconsin with the uh, snow moving through. And it should be out of here by the uh, noon hour or so as we go through tomorrow afternoon. Then Saturday will be dry, but we have another system quickly moving in. This one is going to be a warmer storm system for us, so I think it's going to be mainly a rain event, but it might start off with a little bit of snow Saturday, then eventually changing to all rain uh, Sunday night into a Monday. And we could be talking about some heavy rain. That's why we have a first warm alert day for that system, and it's going to be mainly some rain. Some moisture headed our way, which we need. I don't know about the snow, but that's what we got coming our way after midnight tonight right through tomorrow morning. Pretty steady snow expected overnight tonight uh, through tomorrow morning. That will be impacting those roads tomorrow morning. All right, to, today just cloudy, chilly, temperatures in the 20s, warming through the uh, 30s at the noon hour. Uh, headed in the upper 30s, maybe closer to 40s. You get toward the Illinois border. As we track that snow coming in, probably not until closer toward midnight here in southern Wisconsin. Pretty steady snow expected overnight tonight through tomorrow morning and moderate snow reducing the visibilities down to about a mile tomorrow morning. And then that should be moving out toward the noon hour. Just a few flurries in the afternoon, but the accumulating snow done with as temperatures rise in the upper 30s. Right now, 22 in Madison, 22 in the Adels, 27 in Janesville, 21 in Watertown. Thankfully, there's not much of a wind this morning. 26 in Sun Prairie and also Cottage Grove. So we have the cold there in place. Now we got the storm system moving in, and that's what's going to bring us that snow. The first warning alert day starting late tonight after midnight through tomorrow, mainly in the morning hours. That'll be the main impacts by tomorrow afternoon. Most of the snow done with, and obviously it's going to be wet and sloppy on some of those roads, but it's going to be melting. It's 34 on Saturday before that next system moves in. I think initially it will start off as some snow, but then changing over to some rain by later in the day, Sunday into Sunday night and Monday. First warning alert day for the rain, maybe some heavier rains, talking about maybe upwards of an inch for some. Next week, we uh, cool it down a little bit for Tuesday and Wednesday, but feel a little bit more like spring toward the end of next week with uh, low to mid 50s uh, by Friday and Saturday of next weekend. Okay, Kelly, we'll talk to you again here in a minute. In the 608 this morning, a follow up to our Spirit <clears throat> of Service winner. Yeah, that's right. Our Josh Spider is here with how the local veteran is now being honored. Awesome story here. Hey, Josh. Hey, good morning, guys. Last week, we were so excited to name Dr Rob Drugsvold as this year's winner of the Spirit of Service Award, but that recognition didn't stop there. Take a look at this. Our partners in the Spirit of Service campaign, Vortex Optics, hosted Drugsvold along with his nominator for lunch yesterday. The whole Barneville campus was there to not only thank Rob for his service, but also for what he continues to do in the community. We awarded $5,000 to the veteran last week on News 3 Now this morning as he continues his mission of giving back. We'll continue following Rob's uh, on his journey as he continues to grow the Stoughton VFW and opening it up to younger generations to get involved. Let's take a look at just how much of an impact the, uh, the Spirit of Service made in the 608 this year. In less than two months, 100 nominations were submitted by you at home for local veterans doing something good in the community. Vortex narrowed those down to five. Then you, the viewer, submitted close to 2,000 votes in just two weeks. Rob Drugsvold walked away the official winner with the most votes, but each and every one of those people nominated are winners in our books. Absolutely. These are the people making a positive difference in our community, and that, folks, is inspiring. We're already looking forward to next year in the 608. You know, we went big time this mm -hmm. year, right? Last year, I think there were like 30-some nominations. This year, 100. It'll Incredible. be interesting to see, interesting to see next year where this goes i feel for vortex because obviously they have to narrow these down right uh but it's so cool to just think we have all these amazing people all these veterans that yeah. you know I, deserve the honor i think this is 
becoming a great tradition in our community, getting to highlight these people and then seeing, you know, another honor and welcome from his uh, peers, giving him that standing O was, that was awesome. Gives you goosebumps. Yeah. yeah, it really yeah. does. It does, and Rob uh, gave that money that he got right back to the VFW, right? Yes. He's a big advocate for the VFW. So they're gonna be doing some renovations in the coming months, so they were able to put that right in there, and All his hope that. is to kind of freshen things up around there and get some of the younger folks uh, to join in on, you know, all that's going on there in the Soton community. Inspiring. Thanks for the update. Yeah, yeah thanks you for bet. The Love you to bet, see that. Love thanks, to see Josh. that. Hey, Josh is always looking for inspiration to share with you folks at home. Find him on social media or email him for a chance to be featured. Coming up in the morning sprint, an announcement from the Biden administration this morning, what it means for service workers. And if you've got a little one turning three soon, make sure you shoot us an email so we can wish them a happy birthday. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Transform your yard into something you can be proud of. From initial design to complete finished installation, Maple Leaf will design a yard that'll be the envy of the neighborhood. Maple Leaf Landscaping, your year-round property care specialists. Just look for the orange leaf. We all share the same roads, but when accidents happen, we don't always share the same consequences. Big trucks can cause big damage. Injuries can be severe and may require a lifetime of care and compensation. Call Gruber Law Offices today. We've been fighting and winning for people injured by big trucks for more than 35 years. Let us do the same for you. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. When you download the Pick and Save app, enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. You can always discover more ways to save big every day. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Are you suffering with neck pain, back pain, or sciatica due to disc-related conditions? You may have tried drugs, spinal injections, or physical therapy just to find out it didn't help. You're not alone. The problem is that some of those treatments focus on symptom relief, but may not address the underlying disc problem. As a result of injury or overuse, the discs may bulge, herniate, or degenerate over time. Our therapies are highly successful and reduce pain associated with those conditions and may help you avoid neck or back surgery. At Midwest Spine and Nerve Center, we'll design a treatment program using the latest in pain relieving therapies, including non-surgical spine decompression, Pro Adjuster 360 computerized technology, laser therapy, and more. Visit our website or call to schedule a complimentary consultation. With Sweeto Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Sweeto Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. We forge steel bars that hold up bridges, propel ships, and send rockets into space. But for years, China's been lowballing their prices, so it's been tough to compete. We can't let China steal Wisconsin jobs, so I wrote a law to require American infrastructure projects use American iron and steel. Tammy Baldwin got President Trump to sign her Made in America bill. And then she got President Biden to make it permanent. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. Tammy Baldwin has our back. Do you know the secret to having the perfect lawn? Maple Leaf Landscaping does. With their six-step turf care program, you can have a beautiful lawn all season long. Check their website for special discounts and leave the yard work to Maple Leaf, your year-round property care experts. Unbox the future. Join Girl Scouts. 6.52, time for the morning sprint. Snowstorm is on the way. Here's what you can expect tomorrow morning when it comes to plowing. When three or more inches of snow hit the ground and the storm's over, the plows head out. Madison starts with salt routes. Residential streets aren't salted and don't get plowed in any particular order. Everywhere should get plowed. It could take up to 16 hours. New this morning, the Biden administration says it will cancel $6 billion in student loan debt today. It will cancel debt for 78,000 public service workers. That includes, but is not exclusive to teachers, nurses, and firefighters. The White House says with this additional loan forgiveness, nearly 4 million Americans have had their debt canceled under President Biden. We're about to enter day three of the Mark Wagner trial. The DCI agent is charged in the shooting of unarmed Quadron Wilson. Yesterday, prosecutors presented the equipment officers used in the arrest and whether Wagner could see into Wilson's car. 
Jurors will return to the county courthouse this morning. A man is in jail for his role in a deadly crash at the intersection of Lean Road and Parkside Drive. That crash happened last Friday. He's facing charges of a hit and run involving death. Earlier this week, officials identified the cyclist as 35-year-old Joseph Solomon. A former Milwaukee election official accused of ordering fake absentee ballots could go to prison for five years. A jury found Kimberly Zapata guilty of misconduct in office and fraud. They rejected her lawyer's argument that she was trying to expose vulnerabilities within the state's election system. Her sentencing is May 2nd. Police in Boise, Idaho are searching for an escaped convict. Skyler Mead is on the run this morning after he and an accomplice ambushed police. This happened while police were transporting him to the hospital. Officials say Mead is a member of the white supremacist gang Aryan Knights. Boise remains on high alert. More Americans are back from Haiti this morning. They arrived in Florida last night after waiting weeks to evacuate. The U.S. State Department and Florida state officials say that it's working on efforts now to evacuate more Americans. Around 1,600 are asking for assistance in escaping the island country, which is currently under no government control. Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin is continuing her work to lower the price of inhalers. Senator Baldwin's office says three of the four major inhaler making companies will cap their prices at $35. This follows an investigation from Baldwin and other Democratic senators into how much those companies charge Americans who need inhalers. Baldwin says the Senate will continue that investigation to hold these companies accountable. We'll be watching Wall Street again today to see if yesterday's momentum will carry over. Stocks rallied even after the Fed kept interest rates where they are. The Dow jumped 400 points, the Nasdaq 200. Analysts say the rally was prompted by the Fed, keeping its promise, his earlier forecast rather, that it will still cut rates three times this year. The Fed said even though inflation is decreasing, it doesn't think now is a good time to cut rates. All right, five minutes away from uh, 7 o'clock this morning. We are chilly. Uh, we're looking at temperatures in the 30s for the uh, rest of the week into the weekend. Snow develops. This will be around midnight or after, right through tomorrow morning. And then we have an, another system that will be affecting us later in the weekend into early next weekend. Uh, next week, mainly a rain event. But we do have the uh, snow on the way. Not today, just cloudy temperatures in the 30s. As we get toward 11, uh, midnight, our western county seeing some of the snow spreading in. Here in Madison, pretty solid area of snow. Waking up tomorrow morning, we'll be impacting the roads with some slushy accumulation of 3 to 6 inches when all is said and done. Should be out here as we get toward the uh, noon hour. Temperatures today only in the 30s with cloudy skies. At least we don't have as much wind as we've had over the last couple days. First warm alert day for that accumulating snow tomorrow, primarily tomorrow morning, a dry day Saturday. Another system brings us a little bit of snow, mainly rain. It looks like a later Sunday that will continue into Monday. Maybe some heavy rain early next week. All right, Kelly, thank you. Stay on top of those weather needs. We're back with another news and weather update in 30 minutes.